Black History Month, you know, I'm gonna talk about someone who affected me directly, and that would be um, Marley Marl and Cool DJ Red Alert. These are two guys who are responsible for there even being a hip hop radio genre. If they didn't exist, if they didn't do what they did, it wouldn't even exist. There wouldn't even be this business. There was no hip hop music format before those guys got on the radio. And I used to listen to those guys when I, I would come visit my grandparents. And over time realized this is what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to uh, pursue as a career. Not only did they inspire me to do so, but they created this entire thing that even exists of hip hop radio. Someone who's influenced me and someone I, who I really look up to is the strong, the amazing Maya Angelou. She's a poet, an author, uh, she's been an actress, she's been a playwright. I mean, this woman has done it all. Plus, she was a civil rights activist who worked really close with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X. She's a strong black woman, such a great role model, and someone that everybody should educate themselves on. One of the main people that have inspired my uh, career is The Last Poets, if you're not familiar, uh, with songs like When a Revolution Comes or Time is Running Out. Uh, who also were inspired by brothers like Langston Hughes uh, and people who were able to express themselves unapologetically, who also inspired a generation of hip hop and brothers like Chuck D and Rakim and KRS One and uh, X Clan and uh, cats that were able to be free vocally and express the pain through their words. These are the people that have inspired me in my life at a young age and allowed me to be able to express myself in the same fashion. One of the most influential people for me was my seventh grade summer school teacher at Willard Junior High School in Berkeley, California, um, who made sure that the entire summer school, all we did was learn black history. I would also say another person for me was my dad and my mother, who, you know, black history wasn't just like something that you did, you know, um, in February, it was kind of something you learned about all the time, whether it was music, whether it was food, whether it was the struggle, whether it was black nationalism, black liberation, um, you know, the fight for equality. Um, that was kind of a conversation that took place all the time. And because I'm biracial, my mother being Jewish and my father being black, understanding why I'm black, the complexion issues just amongst black people and brown people, and the complexion issues that we have in America as it relates to, you know, white people and black people and brown people and, you know, everybody here, you know, just understanding that dynamic was something that I believe, you know, is a part of black history as well because black people obviously being the, you know, the slaves that overcame that, became, you know, uh, citizens and are still working to be accepted culturally. It's a struggle that continues. So I would say my dad, my mother kind of instilled that in me.